what is good everybody and welcome back to the channel today we are seeing who can find the better sneaker for under 100 dollars now we do these challenges a lot i think 100 is probably one of the hardest challenges that we have to do because there's not much out there it's like the bare minimum the bare minimum but we're going to be splitting ways today where he's going to be going to certain stores i'm going to be going to certain stores and we have no clue where we're going and we may end up at the same sneaker stores and may end up finding each other and trying to buy the same shoe but we're not gonna tell each other and we're just gonna go about the day. I've got three stores in mind. Nick's got some stores he's gonna go to and we don't know where we're going and whoever wins with the best sneaker wins it all. No leaning on each other, no talking to each other. This is literally gonna be us going out in the city solo and doing it like, it's gonna be way harder to do because there's a lot of times in these challenges we can lean on each other. I can't wait to just go out solo. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and right now head out, head to the first stores. I'm gonna go to maybe three-ish stores, try not to do it off of the first one. So let's go ahead and head out into the city. Let's get it. All right, so Nick and I just split ways. He's back there. I have my ideas of stores in mind. First thing I'm gonna go to is Ragorama. That is usually where we could find something. But uh, I also wanna go to some resale stores. Our buddy Khan used to be at Hype. He is at a new sneaker store, and I hit him up and I said, yo, do you got anything under 100? He said, I definitely can get it done. So Nick said he's not doing any resale stores, so that means he won't be at that for sure, but maybe he switches it up. Change of plans, Ragorama's not open yet, so I'm going to Plato's Closet first, and that's where I found a pair of white Air Force Ones for 60 bucks with the box and everything. So Plato's might be a good option, so we're headed there right now. Plato's Closet is very hit or miss when it comes to finding sneakers. So when we're coming in here, I don't have super high expectations, but you never know what you will find. As expected, when looking through all the different shelves, there's a bunch of random different sneakers, nothing that has been catching my eye too much. There are definitely some stuff like some used Air Force Ones. I don't know if I'm gonna find anything. Now, when looking over the counter, they do have a bunch of different shoes up there. Nothing really catches my eye, even to ask how much they are, because I just kind of know how it goes. I think it might be a very quick L here at Plato's Closet. So just hopped in the car to go to my first store. Now that I'm in the car thinking about it a little bit, I might change up one place that I'm gonna go. So my initial thoughts were, I was gonna hit two of our like pretty poppin' thrift stores, ones that have a lot of crazy shoes. A lot of people will bring like some more beat shoes in there and try to cash out. So I wanna check that out first. And now I'm honestly kind of thinking I should hit should hit a store like full circle. They usually have like a sale rack or like a discount rack. So if I don't check that out, I'm definitely giving myself a disadvantage. My two stores are gonna be the Ragorama and Little Five Points. One you've seen us go to before, but not that often. And also I think I'm gonna have to hit full circle because if they have a crazy option for me, maybe a little bit of a hookup, who knows? I'm gonna try to make it happen. So we'll see, let's get it. Just parked up over here at my first store, Ragarama, and I'm not gonna lie, I've been thinking a lot about options on the way over here. One of the options I was kind of thinking that wouldn't leave my mind was, what if I hit the Nike store? But also, I got to the conclusion thinking about it that there really aren't shoes for retail around 100. I don't think that I could get a shoe and end up getting out of Nike for $100. So. I think I'm gonna stick to my main plan. I'm finally here at my first store. They are not open yet, so to chill in the car, wait for about 10 or 15, head in there and see what they have. I think they're gonna have some really cool options in here, but it's always hit or miss with thrift stores. So we're gonna see, and if not, I'm gonna hit my resale store and see if they can make something happen. So I'm making a stop somewhere to show you guys something on the way to Ragorama. It's literally right off the road. And this is going to be Hawkins Lab from Stranger Things. If you don't know, I am the biggest Stranger Things fan. Like it's not even a joke. Like ask anyone, I'm the biggest Stranger Things fan. I have the guitars, I've got the shoes, I've got everything possible. I just got Mad Max bike. I got so much stuff. And it is so cool that it is filmed here in Atlanta. And with that, I get to stop 
and see Hawkins Lab, which apparently might be being torn down, but uh, I've been re-watching the show actually this week for like the third or fourth time. This has just got me hyped that I get to go see this real quick and show you guys on video because I don't think I've ever come here on video. To nerd out really quick, we're about to pull over there. It is an old mental institution by Emory University. And so you actually can like see the outside and get up really close to it and like go up to the windows and all that. Here we are. This is literally Hawkins Lab. Check this out. Completely vacant. Locks on the door. So there's boarding on here now because somebody probably tried to uh, break in, but this is it. This is where they filmed literally multiple seasons. You can drive right up. I just pulled up to you, probably seen it from the show, a bunch of iconic scenes, and it's like the first season, the fourth season, right here. But um, there's some more doors. It's all boarded up like crazy, because so many people have tried to get in there, and it's like really messy inside. But filming for the show starts back up in May, and if anybody works on set of Stranger Things, uh, please send me an email. I'm trying to do anything I can to be a part of season five, so. I've been saying this, I said this literally from like season two, I said on video, I want to be in season of three of Stranger Things, season four, so let's get it done, final season. Sorry for the tangent. Well, 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 I just pulled in and look what I see. He had the same idea to go to Ragorama, so now I get to just creep up on him, surprise him, let's head in. Caught ya. Well, well, well. Look who it is. <laughs> I was, so when, I was about to call you in the parking lot and be like, hey bro, one of the things we didn't anticipate was uh, timing for stores opening. So yeah. I was just sitting in the parking lot for like 15 minutes like, what if dude shows up? So I went to uh, I went to Plato's Closet first and then I came here. Okay. So. <laughs> I, was, I saw your car, I was like, oh, here we go. Of course, dude. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, it's tough over there. So. <laughs> I'm gonna look around, but we'll see. I'm looking around, I'm seeing a couple of different pairs that I would honestly use. They have a ton of white Air Force Ones for like 60 bucks here, but there are like two or three pairs of shoes that I see that are $100 and 50 cents. I feel like that should be fair or something that I can do for that 50 cents because it's 50 cents. It's not like literally, I think it's fine. And I would be okay with that for Nick as well. All right, I just came outside because I found two options in there that I wanna go with, but I wanna wait until I go to the last door, which is gonna be about half a mile away. So it's really close. So I wanna go there and then I'm gonna come back here. But the only problem is two of them are 50 cents over $100. And I need to see what I can do to mitigate that. All right guys, so I just walked out the store with my pick and I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty confident in this. This is a really crazy shoe. The last sale on this size was 460 dead stock so i was looking around they didn't have anything in there and stuff that they did have that was around 100 was like not worth 100 dollars. so i think this is a good pick for resell and maybe getting value afterwards but we're gonna have to find out i might stop at one more store like full circle resale store just to see like what the deal is and if i can find something cooler but i'm not gonna lie seeing this shoe this gatorade jordan one like this is a rare shoe i never see this so i could not miss the opportunity. Since this is right here and there's two or three options, what I wanna do is I wanna go over to my other store, which is gonna be a static ATL where Khan is, and see if he has anything before I pull the trigger and get something here at Ragrama because Nick's already seen what's in there, so he knows what he'd be going up against. So I'm gonna go over there first and see if I can find a banger deal, maybe on a used shoe, for 100 bucks. One advantage I have over Nick right now is if he wanted to go to Khan's new store, he could, but they don't open till 12. And I got a little message from somebody that they'll be there at 11.30 so I can get in and get out before Nick would even know that I'm there. This used section is probably gonna be my friend today. We just got in here, gonna check out a couple of the pairs, see if we can find something to beat Nick. 100 bucks, that's our max limit today and just looking for something that's going to be better than next because it gives me an advantage in our next video good, yeah. that for 100 that could be good yeah like yeah i think i like that one with the box that's a good option right there yeah i think the dunks for like the people picking would probably be a better option than the yeezys right now so that might even be the winner right there but we'll look through and see if there's anything else just in case but 
Oh, there's Nick. How did I know this was gonna happen? I knew this was gonna happen. Took a little detour to our boys over at Ecstatic. Let's see what happens in here. He just drove by. All right, we gotta we gotta get that thing secured before it. Of course he came over here. He didn't even know you guys are open yet. I think I'm gonna call it here. We're gonna buy those. Let's get those real quick and call it at that for a hundred. Unless you have anything else in the back that you haven't put out yet. Um, not for 100, okay. And if you do, don't give it to Nick. <laughs> He's about to come in, so I need to put these behind the counter. Size 12, let's go. All right, yep, yeah, let's do that real quick. He looks like he's about to walk over here, so <laughs> let's check out. So you guys cannot tell me we are not on the same wavelength. We've stopped at two stores, so he did go to one store before I did, but come on. Seriously, seriously. Two stores back to back? Let's see what he's up to in here. Bro, cameras on cameras, cameras on cameras. I thought you wouldn't have realized that they're not open yet. Hey, they're not open yet, sir. They're not open until 12, you gotta so get out. So one thing I was thinking is like, I have a store I'm going to, but I was like, I might as well see where my boy Khan is at and make a little detour, <laughs> see what he's got going on. Yeah, nah, the store is not open until 12, sir. You gotta get out. All right, I just actually bought my shoes, so. I waited as long as I did, because I sat in the parking lot, I kind of thought about it, and then I like, I got some like B-roll shots and stuff, so good timing. Yeah, because I, I saw you pull up and I was like, all right, we gotta be quick, Khan, we gotta be quick. All right, well. I'm gonna scoot out here. You can say what's up to Khan, but I'm not gonna let you see what I got. Just gonna talk to Khan and see maybe if he has something for me now. Yeah, I told him he can't give you anything in the back. Nothing in the back. All right, well, maybe I'll see you at the next store. Nick and I have like minds, and uh, I got my shoe, but he, uh, he's got he's gonna check out in there. Hopefully he can find some good stuff, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm done. So I'm gonna go grab some food and wait for him so we can link back up. I cannot believe we are two for two stores now. I had to come see my boy Colin. He's always really good with hooking it up, but since Harry got his shoe here, and I think I might already have my option, I'm gonna go to one more store, full circle, see what they have, and then go on from there. I don't know what's gonna happen, but ah, this is so fun running into each other because we really do have the same mindset when it comes to this stuff. So after hearing Harry talk about maybe hitting a resale store a little bit, it's kind of got me thinking that I should too. So right now I'm gonna hit full circle, kind of go through their options. They have a really good, really good like discount shelf, like discount rack, discount shoe shelf where stuff is really close to a hundred if not under. So hopefully they got something cool. I'm gonna see what they have and maybe pick out an option from there. What is up, my guy? So we finally made it into the full circle with the boy Pi himself, and we're looking for a hundred dollar sneaker today. I don't know if y'all can do that, but I came here because you always have like a sick discount rag, stuff like that going on. So let's look around and see what we got. He's a man. All right, so he just gave me these LeBron Air Maxes. They got them at 360 right now. Maybe we'll do a little price check, see what's up. All right, so we just finished looking around and honestly, he gave me such a good option that I don't think that I can pass it up. They didn't have too many cheaper options around. They always have like really good stuff in here. So I kind of have to go with my gut and go with this. I think the value's there. The shoe might not be as popping, but man, I'm gonna go with it and see what happens. up with the shoe now it's time to get back to the warehouse and get this reaction i like what i got but 
I'm really curious. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really curious right now about what Harry got. So let's get back to the warehouse and check out these two shoes. For guys, you just made it back with our pairs. Looks like Nick has uh, two pairs of shoes today. Mm, on a, uh, I might have got two. Might have got two. All right. So how do we do this? How do we pick who goes first? I mean, I can kind of go through my story and kind of end up like and kind of tell the people where I ended up at. So you guys have already seen through the footage. We're just now getting through the warehouse, and I had to go for this shoe to begin with. I could not leave. Was it Rago from Goodwill? It was oh, from right. Ragarama. I could not oh. leave Ragarama without this shoe. It just Gatorade ones. It catches my eye. This is a crazy, it's it's a crazy popping shoe. Like the color is so popping. It's decently rare, but I gotta say, I was so hype on this. You guys saw I picked this out and I was outside of the store, like, let's go. I pretty much already got it done, but as I kept going throughout the day and I talked to Khan and asked him like, well, what do you think about these for $100? And I kind of got an explanation from store owners if they would think that this shoe is really worth near like that price. And they were like, no, no chance. This is gonna be such a hard move. And I figured that like, this shoe's not gonna move. People aren't really interested in it. And I don't really know if you guys would be that interested in it. So I thought the value was good, but after hearing what store owners thought, value went out the window and I ended up with, I went over to full circle and I ended up with this shoe right here. Your boy Pi definitely LeBron. hooked it up. Is it a replacement box or is that? So this is a LeBron shoe. It is in my size, size 11, my size. And they had it at $360. Highest offer on this shoe right now on StockX in this size is 240. I want to say so not bad lebron air max uh i don't remember what model this 95? is 95 yeah it's 95 okay 95 and wow, these are crazy i don't know how popular these are too but i know that this shoe is definitely going to do better than that gatorade one it's 100 bucks right there right there that's and it, that's different i like that it's something different that we didn't get something simple because mine's pretty pretty simple but i like that it's something different there's his pair of the lebrons we're going to figure something out with those gatorades what we can do with them maybe We'll hide them somewhere in Atlanta and have somebody go yeah, find them. That would be so cool, cool like that. It will do something like that. So I went to Khan and I found these really quick. And he's like, these are 100 bucks. Like, all right, let's get these. So I went to Ragarama and they had a few pairs. So at Rag, they had two pairs that I wanted that were $100.50. Would you have been mad if I bought a $100.50 pair? Uh, I don't think I would have been mad because with like taxes and everything, like yeah. I was trying to keep it right at 100, but I'm surprised I didn't see any shoes in there at $1,000, at $100.50. Everything I saw that I would want was like 115. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. So there was was a black and or black white and red Nike Dunk used size nine and a half was 150 cents, and then there was another I think a Jordan One Low, and there was some New Balance in there that were too also cool. Yeah, I was looking at I'm, you sh I'm sure you saw they had a bunch of fives in there. They had like some green bean fives. They so had, many Air Force Ones. So it? many and For like every bucks. single different style. I went with this size 12 Nike Dunk Miami. Wow. And so these are used, they're a little bit used, but the uppers are like brand new. That is gonna be such an easier shoe to move along for sure. Probably, I think this is gonna be one that's like definitely an easier sell. And so we're planning to have this series continue on where we use these shoes and go on to the next one. And so the next one, we're gonna be, I'm getting ahead of myself, we'll explain it here in a second, but Miami, I don't know what these go for brand new, if I had to guess, probably like 150, but they had these on the floor at $100. So. It's kind of like, that, that was right, it didn't even really hook me up much. So this is gonna continue in a series. Now, the next step is gonna be another video just like this, and we're gonna be taking these sneakers and each putting $100 on top and seeing who can get the best sneaker out of that. I'm hyped for that. So we'll see you get the value, everything like that. So it's only $100. And we're gonna continue to do that with these challenges, and we're gonna up the money each time and make it episodic so you guys can see where we end up with at the end of this because we've done a couple of these before so what we're gonna do is do a live instagram vote right now where we take a picture of both of these shoes and say what would you buy for 100 dollars and that's all we're gonna put and whoever they select gets an advantage in the next video and that Ooh. advantage i think should be an additional amount of money in the next video we each get 100 dollars, but whoever wins this poll gets an extra 50 to their challenge so i could use that because he might be able to get value. let's let's take a picture real quick there's the poll going live now all right, guys, it is 150 and it is time to see the poll results. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh it real quick. I'm gonna show it up on the screen. How am I gonna do this? Oh, I won 75.25. Wow, crushed, finally. Crushed me. Crushed. That's, that was 10 minutes worth, a Dang. thousand people voted. So I'm gonna take that dub 
and now I got 150 bucks on top of that. All right, guys, we'll look out for the next part of this series. We're gonna go ahead and doing this again. That I'll probably we'll probably do this every two weeks. I think something like we'll probably add this series in every two weeks and build it up until I don't know. Maybe we'll build it up to like five grand at the end. I don't. That would be too much. But make sure you guys stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like down below. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison and Nick signing out. Peace.